Um, my name is Grace Posniak. I am a junior at NYU. I'm studying music business and social entrepreneurship. Um, I uh, grew up in Kalasa, Massachusetts, so not too far away from here. Um, I always knew that I wanted to work in the music industry. I've known that for a long time, uh, but I've never been so sure that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, that really changed for me when I moved to New York. Um, when I moved to New York, I started to become very involved in the music community there. Um, it was stronger than I thought any music community was, and I found that very powerful. Um, I also was confronted by social issues in a way that I was not confronted by them in a small suburb like Cohasset, Massachusetts. Um, even just in the bubble of NYU, um, it's impossible not to notice um, the hunger and the homelessness that is surrounding us um, every single day. Um, those two things might seemingly be unrelated, um, but that is kind of why I wanted to become an entrepreneur. I wanted to find ways to bring those two issues that um, really were brought to light, uh, or those two things that were really brought to light for me um, in New York together. Um, it all really started for me um, when I took a class by Josh Spodek. Um, he's coming up, two speakers. Um, he's amazing. The class was awesome. If you were all at NYU, I would recommend that you all take Fundamentals of Social Entrepreneurship. Um, obviously, you're here not at NYU, but um, still, Josh is great. Um, so the class that I took, um, like I said, it was a year ago this time, so fall 2014. Um, it was a very experiential class. Um, it was something that was very new for me, very challenging. Um, for one of our homework assignments, we had to uh, reach out to at least 10 people in the field that we were interested in um, and ask them for advice, um, ask them for advice on an idea um, that we had for some sort of social endeavor. Um, one of the companies that I reached out to was Governor's Ball the Music Festival. If you guys don't know what it is, uh, it's a really, really awesome festival. It happens in New York every summer, um, once a year. It's been happening for the last five years. Um, and I reached out to them, um, and after a few correspondences, uh, they, they basically told me, if you can come into our office by December 5th um, with a solid presentation, with a solid proposal, then this project is yours. Um, this was about mid-November. Um, I told this to Josh that this is what they said to me, and Josh said, this is a job offer. And it really, it really blew me away. Um, I started this class as someone totally scared of entrepreneurship, and then all of a sudden I had this um, job offer um, on the table from Governor's Ball. Um, so people usually ask me, you know, how, how did this start? Um, it all started with one very simple email um, that I sent to the info at GovBall account. Um, and this is what the email said. Uh, to whom it may concern, or to whom it may concern, um, I am an NYU student working on a project for a social entrepreneurship course. I've recently begun formulating ideas for an organization that would bring together music festivals like GovBall and volunteers at soup kitchens and food banks. Uh, before moving forward with the project, I was hoping, hoping to reach out to experts in these fields, such as yourself, to potentially get some advice on my ideas. I'm sure that you are very busy and your time is valuable, and I would greatly appreciate any words of advice you could offer. Thanks, Grace Posniak. Um, very, a very simple email, not extremely eloquent, uh, but it apparently worked for them um, because after these correspondences, um, you know, about a month down the line, um, it was December and I was going into the governor's ball offices um, with a pitch for this program. Um, I remember the day that I went to their office, I pressed the buzzer for their building and I was walking up the stairs to their first floor office and this young man popped his head um, out of their office door and I started to introduce myself. I said, hey, I'm Grace. Um, and before I could even get the words out of my mouth, he said, oh, uh, we were just talking about you. I already know who you are. And I was like, whoa. It turns out this man was um, one of the co-founders of Governor's Ball. Um, we now have a great relationship, but I was already nervous going into this meeting and it really um, was, a, was a big moment for me. Um, uh, he brought me to their conference room um, where I sat down with the general manager of Governor's Ball and one of the co-founders and I gave them a presentation about what I thought their needs were, um, what I thought the city's needs were, um, and how this program um, could bring those two things together. Um, by the end of the meeting, we were already spitballing ideas back and forth about how we could make this program, um, how we were going to structure it, and they actually had a lot of questions about how to make a Prezi presentation because it was something they had apparently never seen before. Um, now at this point, I can't really go much further without actually telling you guys what the idea was. Um, 
usually when I get to this point and I tell people what I ended up doing with Governor's Ball, they're fairly underwhelmed. Um, it is a very simple idea. We ran a very simple program and the cycle of giving and receiving is very clear to see. Um, I think the simplicity of the idea is what um, will make it easy for me to carry it to other cities, other festivals, um, and kind of mold it to whatever environment it is in. Um, but basically, we created a program called GovBall Gives Back. Um, I worked with them to partner with five different soup kitchens and food banks in the Harlem area. Um, Harlem is right by the island where Governor's Ball um, happens. Um, uh, like I said, we partnered with five different soup kitchens and food banks, and we had about 100 volunteers uh, volunteer for 12 uh, to 15 hours at, this, at these soup kitchens and food banks in exchange for a pass to the festival. Um, once the program got started, I really was the sole coordinator of it. Um, I built and managed the relationships with the different organizations. Um, I scheduled the volunteers. Um, I kind of managed them, tracked their hours, um, and kind of kept things going while the program was running for about two and a half months. Um, there definitely were some issues getting it off the ground, um, as there is with any pilot. Um, you know, there was miscommunications with the organizations. There was volunteers dropping out, scheduling issues. Um, I had volunteers emailing me in the middle of class saying they couldn't find the organization and I, you know, had to get up, send them uh, pictures of what the place looked like, but it ended up resulting in over 1,500 hours volunteered to the city of New York. Um, and now I'm an expert on this strange small niche of music festival community outreach programs. Um, you know, one thing that was really striking for me from this program, probably the most meaningful moment, um, was after it was over, I asked for feedback from the volunteers on what they thought. Um, and one girl emailed me and emailed me back and she said, um, I never had the opportunity to do something like this before. I've never volunteered. Um, I, I've never given my time like this. And it was one of the most meaningful things I've ever done. Um, I've already made plans to go back to these organizations and keep volunteering for at least the, the entirety of the summer. Um, and that if if nothing else happened for me, if I didn't continue with GovBall, if I didn't um, keep going with this project, if it ended right there, um, I would have considered it success. Um, the whole point of creating this program for me was to use music, to use, use music festivals um, to kind of spark that kind of inspiration to bring to light these issues to people. Um, and it, it happened in that one person. Um, hopefully it happened in more than just her, um, but, but that was a really huge and powerful moment for me. Uh, but luckily it didn't end there. Um, through Josh again, I started uh, building a relationship with another music festival in New York. Um, they wanted to do the program, this uh, program similar to GovBall Gives Back um, at their festival this past summer. The timing didn't quite work out, um, but we are planning on doing it next summer. Um, you know, going into a meeting with them, I felt more confident than I had ever felt with anything else before. Um, I really knew what I was doing from doing the program with GovBall. Um, and yeah, so we're working on that for 2016. They asked that I would come in as a third party. So I'm currently working um, with a lawyer who is happily, um, she's working with me pro bono um, to create Music Serves, which is going to be um, a nonprofit. And then I'm also um, starting to build relationships with a different music festival in Delaware. Um, and they are also interested in doing a program like Gov GovBall Gives Back there. Um, Unlike these other speakers, I don't really have some big takeaway to give you. Um, obviously, I'm in a very similar position to all of you, just a college student, just working on this. But I think um, if there's one thing that I could tell you, um, you know, I never thought that I'd be doing something like this. And it has been um, an incredible journey that has been more simple than I could ever, ever imagine. Um, I think it's really important to remember that it can be a really, really simple idea, a really simple email like the one I sent, um, a really simple program that can make a really huge difference. Uh, I'll just leave it there. Thank you. Uh, we have John.